Hope you're having a beautiful week wherever you are in the world. I've been meaning to give you guys a life update. I want to talk about burnout, self-care, and how I've been coping with my anxiety. Before anything else, I gotta tell you, Glossier paid me to make this video, and they sent me a lot of stuff. And the third bag, I bought with a gift card that Yunabei sent me. You know, my bestie from the Westie. We live too far from each other. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce two featured products, the Milky Jelly Cleanser, and the Lash Slick. The Lash Slick is water resistant, so it won't flake or smudge. It locks onto your lashes, but leaves them feeling fluttery and feathery. It enhances the look of your natural lashes because of its small fibers that coat from root to tip. If you're looking for a buildable mascara, try the Lash Slick. I put the product link in the description box. We're gonna start with a fresh canvas, so let's remove my current makeup. I just shaved my armpit hair just to film this video, just for you guys. The Milky Jelly Cleanser is to wash your face when your skin is wet. You can also apply it to dry skin to remove makeup and cleanse the skin. The Milky Jelly Cleanser conditions and softens your skin, leaving your skin completely clean but not squeaky and tight. Now that I've massaged my cleanser, I'm gonna rinse it thoroughly, so be our bae! Alright, I'm back. It erased my pencil and my uh, sunscreen and primer. I don't feel it on my skin. If you're looking for a gentle 2-in-1 makeup remover and cleanser, try the Milky Jelly Cleanser. Go to Glossier.com from the link in my description box. Let me moisturize my skin because I just cleaned it. I'm going to use a priming moisturizer. Massage dollops of the cream into your face using upward strokes up and out. Up and out. Up and out. So you guys know I'm not a beauty guru. I'm going to do my best to do the right order. We have a perfecting skin tint. And this color is going to be G11. Now I know a lot of you guys might be thinking, you don't do makeup videos, you do food and travel videos. But you know what? Did you know? I like dressing up. For those of you who've been with me for a long time watching all my channels, you know I dressed up as a grandma before. You know I dressed up as a dude. You know I dressed up as a very girly girl. Uh, also, when I had jet lag before, I dressed up as like random different things. One of my ways of expressing myself, dressing up. So yeah, it's a really random. I decided to do this collaboration with Glossier. In my world, in my mind, no. But if you've only watched my travel videos, then yeah, it might seem a little random. Stretch concealer. It looks so smooth, I don't want to ruin it, but I'm gonna have to do it. Typically, I would look at a mirror and do this. Looking through the camera is a little bit challenging because I cannot see the details as much. For the rest of this video, I'm going to label somewhere whatever product I'm using in a corner. And let's start doing the life update. It took me a really long time to realize I've been a bit of a workaholic. You know, when I step away from editing videos or doing anything related to work, I'd have some anxiety about it. This is really interesting. It's kind of like a trampoline. I start to think I'm gonna fall behind if I don't do work right now. So I didn't have too much of a social life. The thing is like this world is such a busy place that if you pause, if you stop, it feels like the world just keeps going without you and that you're, you're just being stagnant and you're just watching it go by. So you need to be doing something. I, I, at least I felt like I need to be constantly doing something to be productive and to catch up with this world, to be ahead if I can. Oftentimes people think I'm just traveling all the time and just having fun, but actually what you see on camera, the finished product, the finished video, is always the best part of it because there's a whole process on making each video. This is like a thick lipstick, but it is the Halo Scope Dew Effect Highlighter. Glide onto cheek and brow bones. Blend with fingertips to enlighten your face. Oftentimes, it takes me over 10 hours to edit each travel video but it takes maybe 10 minutes to watch. So anyhow, I was in this very doing mode because you know, we are, most of us are in the doing culture, especially if we live in mega cities, there's always something to do. We're very busy, we're studying, we're working. Even if our career is going well, we're always looking to get bigger, to get more money, to get promotions. It's always constant doing, there's no end to it. So at some point I did get burnout. Dot applicator onto skin and blend with fingertips. 
It looks taller, doesn't it? My nose looks taller. I was thinking to uh, put contacts in, but the thing is, I have these weird nose things from the glasses. So maybe I just might as well keep my glasses. I feel most comfortable with my glasses anyways. There are a handful of YouTubers who've been getting burning out and making videos on that. And I read the comments and some people are saying, oh, YouTubers have it so easy. They're making a lot of money um, that YouTubers don't have the right to get burnt out. You know, the thing is some of these bigger YouTubers, they have a full production company and they need to do well to, you know, pay everyone. And if they cannot pay their team members, then they have to let them go. So that's, that's a bit of a pressure there. I don't have a team. Some people can still tell me like, hey, you don't have the right to get burnt out. But you know what? Everyone can get burnt out, even mothers. It doesn't matter what position you are in a company, anyone could get burnt out. Even if you're doing what you love to do, you can get tired. There could be a long to-do list to succeed in whatever project you're working on. We have three options here for the techno gel, the eye pencil. This one's called BRAC. You know, a lot of suffering is relative. Just like, like everything is pretty much relative. Money is relative. The amount of things you could buy with a dollar in the US versus buying something in Thailand, you could get so much more for your money in Thailand. This eye color pencil name is Disaster Class. Also pain is relative. You know, the pain you endure as an elementary school uh, student versus the pain you face as um, a 30 year old versus a 90 year old. And you cannot say, oh, a person who is much richer than you, they should not feel any suffering. Everyone goes through some sort of suffering. This one's called Candyland. Typically, I like to go with a darker eye pencil color. So I'm gonna go with the Brack. Got my rainbow cheetah mirror. While everyone's pain and uh, stress, st stress threshold differs, we can agree that we're all trying to survive and thrive in this world. You know, it's easy to say, oh, people who are making millions of dollars a year, and I'm not one of those people, uh, one day I hope to be, but uh, it's okay if I don't get there. It's all right. Oh, those millionaires, billionaires, they have it so easy. But you know, um, first off, some of these people who have a lot of money, they worked to get there. And just because they inherited that money doesn't mean they have it all easy either. You know, sometimes uh, you might have a lot of something in your life, but not as much of another. Money doesn't equate to happiness. Money can't buy you health. Sure, money can help you get to the good hospitals, but if you're a billionaire and you're eating McDonald's all the time, do you think you're gonna be healthy? Physical and mental health is based on habits and uh, your mindfulness and your effort. While some people they may have the best of wealth, it doesn't mean they have the best of health. Right, I did my eyes. You know, I, I wanna play a little bit. I'm gonna use the um, other pen, the disaster class, and make it more pointy. You know, for the longest time, I've been a perfectionist, but I've been embracing um, to not be a perfectionist, but just to enjoy more. Uh, as for the eyebrow, I'm going to use my regular uh, eyebrow pencil. So uh, for a long time, I was a bit of a workaholic. Everything was work. When I sacrificed work for anything else, I felt some anxiety. You know, I always sacrificed my social life, um, even my health. Uh, there are days I work a lot on the computer. I sit a lot. You know, some people say I'm lucky to travel. First off, that's not the life that was given to me on a plate. I worked really hard to get that lifestyle to um, incorporate travel into my work life. About two months, two to three months of the year altogether, I travel and I film. You know, when you travel for work and for filming, it's different than traveling completely for vacation and just not thinking about work. I mean, I'm not complaining. You know, I'm thankful that I was able to, uh, with my efforts and the universe helping me, to create this lifestyle. At the same time, this uh, life of travel, it's not all fun and games. Nowadays, with aging, my uh, jet lag has gotten worse. You know, when I fly back from Asia to America, it, it's been taking me two weeks to get over my jet lag. And it's really bad because I'm trying to be productive. I'm, you know, during the time I travel, 
I have this tendency to skip uploads because my laptop cannot handle 4K footage as my bigger desktop computer can. So my um, laptop tends to overheat and I get so scared that it's gonna crash on me. And if your laptop crashes when you're traveling and you don't have access to fix it or to buy a new computer, then how am I gonna film and save all my files? I guess I could buy more memory cards, but if I don't have access to memory cards, how am I gonna keep filming? So after I come back from a trip, I uh, would try to catch up on editing. But when you're jet lagged, it's really hard to be productive. You know, you're trying to edit this video, but most of the battle is trying to be awake. So during the times I'm not uploading or I'm not as productive, I feel down. I, I don't, I definitely don't feel happy. And I also don't feel as much self-love. A couple months ago, I realized I don't have unconditional love for myself. Every time I don't do well on a test or if I don't do, sometimes even if I don't do well on a video, after all the work I put into it, I would feel really down. I realized I love myself more when I do well on something. I was so thankful I discovered that. Because first, you need to realize something to change things. If you're in denial or just not aware, how do you make conscious changes? So it's been a work in progress to not judge myself based on numbers. Not let my mood go up and down based on how many views a video gets. It's all a work in progress. I've gotten a lot better and my mood has stabilized. Yeah, because it was just so exhausting to judge myself based on numbers. And I just thought to myself, when is this going to end? And it's not going to end by itself. I have to work through it. It has to be conscious change. And I, I want unconditional love for myself. And actually, I did a poll on Instagram asking people like, do you feel unconditional love for yourself? And more than 50% of people said, no, I don't have unconditional love for myself. So that was really surprising to me. I thought more people have unconditional love for themselves. We are worth, each of us is worth more than any test. We are worth more than our job. You know, if we have unconditional love for ourselves, we can be more resilient to whatever else is going on in the world. Anything can happen. But if you could be solid here, nothing's gonna touch you. Here's the thing, there, there will be moments when you feel so solid and then other days you might not feel as solid. But that's the thing, once you feel more solid and you achieve that, you achieve, but that doesn't last forever. We have to constantly maintain, we have to be mindful. It's a practice. Positive attitude is not always just given to you on a plate. Every day you need to um, feed your mind with good thoughts. You know, the body plays a big role, so you have to also do your best to feed your body with healthy nutrients. You know, cheat days are okay. You know, once in a while you have that pizza, that's fine. You know, just know that what you feed your body can also affect what's going on in here. Oh, it's been a long time since I put mascara on, so I'm having a ball right now. Oh, that's a sip of tea. This is a ginger and turmeric tea. Whenever I film update videos, I can't seem to remember every single thing I want to say. It's like after I film or even when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, I forgot to mention that. So I'm doing my best to remember everything off the top of my head. Ever since I was in college, I was a big fan of Anthony Bourdain. And back then, I always thought, oh, the travel show hosts are so lucky to travel all the time. But now that I have my own YouTube channel that's about food and travel, I realize, wow, actually it's a lot of work. You know, like I mentioned, it's not like I'm traveling all the time. Uh, most of the time, I'm just sitting behind the computer and editing videos. And then to reverse the effects of you know, sitting behind the computer all day. I, uh, I've been doing yoga, so that's, okay, so that's part of my self-care. Oh, I like this glitter. I wanna put some more because I feel like it. Do you ever find yourself limiting your playtime, limiting your rest time, all for work? Do you sacrifice everything for one thing? Part of my self-care routine has been to take care of my health and to relax every day not not save all your rest and relaxation for the end of the week or when you have free time before i used to let myself rest and have fun when i have free time 
but now I schedule in rest and relaxation. I've been uh, doing more restorative and yin yoga, which involves more stretching. Doink! Doink! I kind of just like it like that. It's like dimples. Right, both of these are multi-grade palettes, palettes? Use detailer or fingertip to place onto skin, and the direction says, have fun. Before I forget, I wanted to do a shout out to Faye Bay. I miss that girl so much. And she has filmed Get Ready With Me videos uh, paired with life updates. So Faye, thank you for um, this inspiration. If you've never seen Hey It's Faye, you gotta check her channel out. She's so funny. For the rest of the look, what will go well with it? Maybe let's go with the, the less yellow one. Party, party on my eyelid. Other self-care activities I have been incorporating into my life is to be okay with being slow, taking it at a slower pace, being in the moment, being present. Meditation helps a lot. Last year, I've had, I've experienced panic attacks uh, for the first time, right after I turned 30, that's the first time I experienced my panic attacks. And it was really scary. My mind went completely blank and I had a tightening in the chest, like there's a knot. And then the next day, every time I got a panic attack, I would get sick, which would worsen my anxiety because I got a panic attack in the first place because of work. Every time I, my things in my personal life was giving me more to do things, I felt anxiety that my personal life was taking time away from my work. You know, recently I started a workbook on anxiety and how to reduce it. And I realized I have a tendency of imagining the worst thing that could happen for any given situation. Even when I drive, I think worst case situation. I have had a lot of accidents with my car. I've had my car get totaled when a grandpa, a drunk grandpa at 4 p.m. hit my car in the parking lot. I've also had a homeless person drive their bike into my car and a sheriff witnessed the whole thing and he said, I didn't do anything wrong. It was the homeless guy, but still like when the homeless guy fell down, I was like, did I just kill someone? Like, it doesn't matter whose fault is it, the fact that we had an impact. Thankfully, he got up, he was fine, and I saw him uh, right before the impact, so I stopped. A lot of bad experiences have kind of taught me to think in worst case scenarios. So I'm like always on guard, but most of the time, everything's okay, most of the time. You know what, I might need to change my glasses. What do you guys think? Better do some clicks feel like I'm pushing on to like a flashlight. Let's see. While that's taking time to ooze, I'm gonna darken up my eyebrows. So what are some things you guys do for self-care? Sleep is self-care. Turn off all your tech by 9 p.m. I know, I know, I know. I don't, I don't always do that. Sometimes you forget what time it is and you're like on the phone and you're like, oh shoot, it's 10. Oh shoot, I'm working, it's 11 p.m. But you know, it's, it's all practice. Some weeks you're just really good at, oh, oh, it looks like noodles. This one is a, a more thick application. My lips feel like Friday. So for the longest time, I've been in this mode where I have to do something productive to make everyday meaningful. Nowadays, I've after slowing down, I'm like, you know what? It's really important to play. Not always doing activities that are directly productive, directly uh, giving to your career, but just participating activities that don't seem like it has some sort of concrete meaning to your life specifically. Maybe you do art and don't really need to play basketball. But you know, the other day I lost my mom and I found her playing basketball by herself, just shooting hoops. And then I just joined her and we both were shooting basketball. You know, shooting hoops is not gonna directly do something really great for my YouTube career. But you know what? I was in the moment. I tried something I haven't done in years and I did it with my mom. We're bonding. As we're shooting hoops, we're talking random things about life and my mom loves curry. Why are we on earth here? What is our purpose? Our purpose is not just to work, 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 work. Part of our purpose is to work part of it. Like if you only feel stress in your life, 
you lose the taste to live. You know, actually, if you don't take breaks, the motivation to work might die a bit and you just feel not as productive. When you play, when you let go, it can actually make you more productive. Should I wear a wig? Oh yeah, see, I want my hair like this. Oh yeah, just like that. And now, when I go out, I should just not move my head. Be like, hey, because if I move my head, my bangs are gonna disappear. I just touched up, I made it symmetrical. There are three products I didn't show you yet. We have the Invisible Shield, a daily sunscreen. We also have a coconut balm. Use on lips, cuticles, elbows, on your friend. <sighs> smells good. Smells a little coconutty. Sweet, smells sweet. Oh, I am craving dessert. If you use this when you're super hungry, you might just eat it. This one I ordered with Yuna's gift card. It is the Zit Stick Breakout Eraser. Here are the glossy products in the order of how I applied them. If you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like this look, you can also give it a thumbs up. Thanks to Glossier for sponsoring this video. Hope you had fun getting ready with me. Do any of you guys cope with anxiety? How do you guys handle stress? And what stresses you out the most? Let me know in the comment section. Toodles, my noodles.